So DJI Osmo Nano, finally we've got a clear picture of what this little guy can actually do. Big shout out to Jasper Ellens over at Drone XL for digging up all the tiny details because now we can actually see what DJI is cooking. And trust me, this little guy is trying to pack some serious action cam power into something that's more in the league of the Insta360 GO series. Okay, let's imagine this for a second. You're holding a camera that's barely bigger than your thumb, but it promises 4K at 120 frames per second. That's slow motion goodness without the bulk. Pretty wild, right? And before we go any further, if you love such gadgets and want to stay on top, hit that subscribe button real quick. This is exactly the kind of stuff we cover. Alright, first things first, the sensor. The Osmo Nano packs a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. For a camera this tiny, that's huge. Bigger sensor equals sharper images, better low light performance, and just overall cleaner shots. DJI is reportedly pushing this to 13.5 stops of dynamic range, so we can say it's an Action 5 Pro in a smaller body. Now compare that to the Insta360 GO Ultra. It features a 1 over 1.28 inch sensor, slightly larger than Nano. However, Insta360 has not disclosed the exact dynamic range and stops for this model. Instead, it relies on AI features like pure video and active HDR to boost low light shots and balance tricky lighting. And speaking of low light, there's a super night mode. It uses noise reduction to clean up your shots when the sun goes down or when you're indoors, but let's be real. The final look is going to depend on how clean DJI keeps that sensor and image pipeline, how it handles ISO, and how all the processing comes together. Until we actually get our hands on one, we won't know exactly how it performs, but it's promising. Now, video. Leaks has it, we're getting 4K at 120 frames per second, let that sink in. Most tiny cams like the Go 3S max out at 2.7K at 30 frames per second. Even the Go Ultra only goes up to 4K at 60. The Osmo Nano, if true, gives you twice the slow motion potential in a body that's not much bigger than a stick of gum, and the bitrate? 120 megabits per second. Smooth, detailed footage without creating files that are unreasonably massive. HEVC format keeps things efficient. Pair that with an f2.8 aperture and a 143 degree field of view, and you've got a lens that's wide enough for action, but not so wide that everything looks warped like some ultra fisheye lenses. Photos on the Osmo Nano look promising. While DJI hasn't officially confirmed the megapixel count, the 1 over 1.3 inch sensor is big for a camera this size, which usually means sharper images and better low light performance. You've got RAW and JPEG support, so whether you want to edit your shots later or post directly to social media, you've got options. Burst mode lets you shoot multiple images in a few seconds, making it easy to capture fast moving subjects without missing a moment. Now, let's talk stabilization because this is where DJI Flex is Rocksteady 3.0 with Horizon Balancing. Horizon Lock works at 1080p 60 frames per second or lower, and electronic stabilization isn't available in slow motion or time lapse. Pretty standard for a compact cam, but Horizon Lock keeps your shots level when you're biking, skiing, or running around capturing chaos. And here's a killer feature, the pre-record mode. Up to 5 minutes of footage captured before you even hit record. So those oops I missed it moments, gone. Battery life is interesting. 530 milliamp hour onboard, plus a dock with 1300 milliamp hour. Alone, the camera lasts about 90 minutes. With the dock, DJI claims up to 200 minutes, that's longer shooting without adding a giant battery pack, and fast transfers, USB 3.1 up to 600 megabytes per second, plus a micro SD slot in the dock for quick exports. Storage options are neat, built in 64 gigs or 128 gigs plus micro SD support. So you can literally shoot all day without swapping cards. No fuss, audio is simple but solid. Dual built-in microphones give stereo sound, and if you want pro-level audio, you can plug in two transmitters directly. No receiver needed, so you could be recording two separate audio sources at once. Perfect for vlogs or interviews on the go. Connectivity is solid too, Wi-Fi 6.0, Bluetooth 5.1 for camera unit and 5.4 for dock, and XFAT support. 
handling large files, live previews and transfers are all smooth, waterproof up to 10 meters, dock add splash resistance, so water sports, rainy hikes, all good, and creative options, tons, horizontal or vertical shooting, gesture controls, pre-recording, live previews in the DJI Mimo app, one tap editing, pro filters, glamour effects 2.0, live photos, you name it. You can even sync dashboards from Apple Watch or Garmin for sports tracking. Basically, DJI packed this tiny cam with serious flexibility. Design-wise, DJI went modular. Camera and dock combo is compact and portable. Magnetic dock lets you quickly switch between selfies and regular shots. Built-in OLED touchscreen for live view and remote control. Portable, capable, and stylish. Inside the box, you're getting the Osmo Nano camera with either 64 or 128 gigs built in based on the price, the multifunctional vision dock, a magnetic hat clip, and a magnetic lanyard for hands-free shooting. DJI also throws in a protective case, a USB-C to USB-C PD cable with USB 3.1 speeds, and a dual direction magnetic ball joint adapter mount for flexible setups. On top of that, you'll find a DJI logo sticker, a quick start guide, and the usual disclaimer paperwork. Release date? September 23rd, 2025. Pricing, 369 euros for 64 gigabytes, 399 euros for 128 gigs. So bottom line, DJI Osmo Nano is small, but it's punching way above its weight. High-res photos, versatile video options, excellent stabilization, smart docked battery system, built-in storage, Wi-Fi 6, it's convenient, capable, and adventure ready. Whether it's short bursts of action, vlogging, or just having a reliable backup cam, the Nano is seriously tempting. Honestly, DJI seems to have nailed the balance between portability and performance here. Tiny camera, big capabilities, and if you're enjoying this breakdown and want more deep dives like this, make sure to hit subscribe. You won't want to miss what's coming next. See you in the next one. Peace.